Hi guys, hello, I'm here to meet you, Michelle Marie Tlini. Yeah, yeah, I've got the portable city to tell you so I want to talk a lot. I want to talk a long time because it's going to be a hot day. And I'm trying to um, do a couple things simultaneously as we go. I'm trying to prep this thing up. It's a little off. Um, today, of course, is um, Wednesday. It's going to be high of 31 degrees today. Not exactly the kind of day to... Uh, chill, if you know what I'm saying, um, but the, um, what to talk to you about was, um, a couple things, last night I watched, um, the, um, some of the rally from, actually I watched the whole rally from Albuquerque, New Mexico, over Donald Trump, which is really interesting, but, um, the right side broadcasting had a significant problem with their audio video, that they keep having over and over again. And um, I have to tell you, I'm a little bit um, perturbed that they kept losing audio and video. And it made watching it really hard because I couldn't understand half the time since he got jumped up. They dropped the video and audio right in the middle of a message. And... Um, I don't know how they're doing it, what they're using for the uplink, but I'm not tasting it right now. If they're using the cell phone network, obviously the cell phone network you got was adjusted um, to keep up with high definition video. Um, that's the reason why we use standard definition here instead of high definition. But the other thing too was is um, I felt that the. the it really didn't have a professional feel to it. Um, and lastly is, maybe it would have been better if you guys had, um, as a backup, had been video, uh, been saving it to disc first and then upload it. Or at the end of the rally, um, upload your saved version because the other one kept just dropping out over and over again. I had the same problem with YouTube too, so I know what that was going on. Uh, so you guys need to work on that. Likewise, we need to work on something similar. We, I, I really got to find a way to take advantage of the mass, uh, of the um, ability to do live streaming, and I need to um, get a T-Mobile data plan that is going to give me the kind of power. Um, to do that and do it well. The problem is, is T-Mobile does not have a binge up plan, which I wish they had. What would binge up be? Well, binge up would be as a plan where you can um, upload as much as you need because to YouTube or the participating upload provider and not go against your data quota. Now, if they had an unlimited upload plan, I'd probably buy it. But the problem is, is I don't see T-Mobile doesn't seem to have such a data plan They um, for hotspots. They don't really have it for phones either. And the problem is, is that um, it makes it really difficult. Because there's times when I really would like to be able to uh, upload large streams of data and not have to feel like I'm going to be penalized. Because I've already explained to you once before is that we upload close to um, just calculating this real quick in my head, guys. Give me a minute here, okay? Um, almost up sometimes as much as 10 gigabytes in a single week of data. And some days we only upload a gigabyte, depending on how I'm feeling and things like that, yada, 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 yada. Um, so yeah, I kind of get this feeling that we need a data plan that would be extensible and expanded and give me the recovery I need to cover, upload videos in large chunks. Um, I said doing okay. Um, that's good. But um, T-Mobile really needs a data plan that allows me to upload data in large chunks quick. Um, there's nothing wrong with Frontier, except it's slow. Um, in fact, 
frontier has been having problems with immigration in California from Verizon. Just as we've been having trouble with, in Connecticut, we had the same problem when transitioning from AT&T. Um, except they're, they're, they're integrating with old Verizon Fios. Lucky shits. I wish I had Fios here. We don't have Fios. Um, it would have made my life a lot easier. Uh, I know that in some parts of Connecticut, they are um, installing the equipment of of Fios, fiber optic to the home uh, premises, or sometimes known as FTTP. Um, but that's not Winstead, and Winstead has never really expanded <coughs> the fiber optic capabilities. The only place that has fiber optic at all is the medical center, and it's got fiber optic cables. But Winston uh, overall doesn't. Um, I'm not interested in getting involved with Charter because they charge too much. In fact, that's another thing that kind of bothers me. Um, really quickly, if you've been watching what's going on with the other cable companies, Comcast and Xfinity, um, and even Cablevision to some extent, are trying to put ca t caps, data caps on people. Now, these data caps that they're putting on them is especially hitting hard the, with the coded cord cutters. And when we say cord cutters, we're talking about people who don't subscribe to the cable television packages. Uh, I priced the cable packages right now for Winston, and it's, it's really not economically feasible to get cable and for TV because it costs... Um, one person said about ten dollars, and you got to rent the box for another ten. That's twenty bucks plus taxes and fees and everything else, and it really sucks. The um, the economy right now, overall, well, globally, is stinks. So that's there's money I don't have, um, and a lot of people don't have to subscribe to something that's a luxury. Now, on the other hand. Um, the internet is becoming more of a necessity in this day and age. It is, of course, people are using the internet more and more to do everything from job applications online to shopping, including me. Um, so I tend to, um, feel that there's going to be a better plan out there. Uh, but if you're trying to do, li if you're trying to do streaming, live streaming especially, you need a data plan that, uh, or a package that gives you good up as well as down bandwidth. Now, I tried live streaming one time from from McDonald's with Ed, and you saw that. And the video there, you can see it kind of got chopped up a lot. Is that the buffer like crazy to buffer it in, and, and it's still chopped up part of the video. That was the last video me and Ed ever did, and... Um, I was hoping that someone's going to be here today, and she isn't here. She might be here later. I don't know. Uh, she was going to come over and visit today. Maybe she decided, because uh, it's going to be such a hot day like me, she might decide to, uh, nah, I'm not going to go over Michelle so I'll say, because it's, uh, I'm not going to physically feel too good climbing up those stairs and 31 degrees Celsius heat. Um, I can understand that very well. Thank you. Um, so I guess all I can say is don't worry about it. But, um, there's just so much. Uh, now, the SSM 1250 mixture is kaput. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I tried to fix it, but I looked at the circuit board, it's got a burnt spot. Um, a component that was supposed to be connected to a new capacitor is kaput. It doesn't, I don't know what it is missing, I don't know what's broken, but... It's all in a free cycle right now. So if you want the SSM 1250 mixer, it's free. You just got to pick it up and realize it needs repair. So you're going to have to, um, if you know solid state electronics, it's not service mount. At least not the, the daughter board where all the audio and video connect to. The, um, I mean the, the audio and the um, power lines. That's, that's standard single-sided, um, PC boards. So that's should be relatively easy if you know your electronics to fix it. I um, still want to get a tube amp. I still want to get a vacuum tube, power amp, or preamp. Um, the, the cost is 
drive me crazy. I've been trying to figure this out for days. I mean, how much money I'm going to give from, from, from rent to rebate, I have no clue. And all I know is, is I really, really have... My my whole life is like a giant wait and see. And I have to tell you, I hate wait and see. Um, this microphone here is needs to be replaced too. And um, so many things that I got to do and I can't do them all. And it's just stressed me out really bad. So, of course, um, uh, I don't think I'm going to be getting a video in studio. That's why I brought the portable studio so that I could do one here. Because it's going to be really, really warm in the afternoon. So, I don't want to sit around and work on a hot video in the studio. Because it's, you know, the lights throw a lot of heat. And so, that's the reason why I'm taking one out. So, am I going to get the turntable preamp with the tubes? You know, I don't know, honestly, if we're going to get the turntable preamp with the tubes or not. I'd like to. I really would. Um, but the one with the nice metal case is like $170 plus $30 shipping from China. They don't have an American distributor for the metal one. It's the same electronics as in the one with the plastic acrylic enclosure for about $40 cheaper. But you know what? I like I like my things to look nice. I don't like crappy looking stuff. You know, I'm going to spend money. I want it to look like something I'd be proud to, to show people. Um, I really would like to be able to make my own tube amp case. Um, in my own tube amp and, and all that, but as I said, the money is just me not being able to do that this year, and that really, really frustrates me so much because I really was hoping to um, do so much, but I just don't know if I can do it, and and I, that bothers me a lot. Um, that the things I like to do, I can't do. My apartment looks like hell. Um, the kitchen looks like a tornado hit, and my stomach is doing better, thank God. But that's 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 the good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. But I think Michelle's right about one thing: the um, budget is a disaster. It is a mess. It's a big one. But for next month, it looks like Michelle is going to be in the black. That's good. That's good. Um, but. Not by much. No, not by much. Fortunately. So, anyway, the other thing is, like I said about the internet and the different packages, is I'm really thinking it's time to um, consider alternatives to Frontier. That's going to give me the data I want um, for the price I will really feel it's worth it. But the $50 plan, that the T-Mobile has for the hotspot is not comparable to even close to what I get as far as capacity with the $54 plan from Frontier. Um, if the if it was the same kind of deal, um, unlimited upload downloads, I'd say, great, let's go. But it's not, and, uh, and that really kind of sucks. Yeah. Well, of course, you do less videos. Uh, I don't want to do less videos. Well, anyway, to make a long story short, that's kind of things that we've been going through for the last few days. And so many things I'd like to do. And... Oh. Okay, that was just the... I'm surprised it didn't stop the recording. Um... That was just a reminder that the um, my case manager is going to be here in a few minutes. And so what I'm going to do is let you go, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Okay, guys? So stay cool, stay safe, stay dry, and we'll talk soon. Okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys.